How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video. This week we have eight returns to look at, so I say we get right into it. Hope everybody's... I grabbed two! What am I doing? Hope everybody's having a fantastic week though. Hope your mailboxes are full as well. We're gonna start in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Doesn't look like we have a hard card in here, but maybe two or three cards. Slice into it and see. We have ooh, Larry Boa. Wow, these these really did come back fast. 74 tops, beautiful blue ink. Love that NL active uh, career stolen bases leader from 1984 tops. And then another 84 tops there with the Cubbies. So pretty cool with the Phillies and the Cubs. Pretty lopsided trade there. Young guy by the name of Ryan Sandberg and Larry Boa. For I think uh, Ivan De, De Jesus. Not a <laughs> pretty one-sided trade there for the uh, the Cubbies. But Larry Boa, five-time All-Star. World Series champion in 1980. Shortly after again was traded to the Cubs. But two-time gold glover with those Phillies. And then came back to be manager. Managed the Padres for a little bit and then the Phillies from 2001 to 2004 and won NL Manager of the Year in 2001. It's all culminated on getting him on the Philadelphia Phillies Wall of Fame. Had over 21 hits, almost 2,200 hits in his career with 525 runs batted in, 260 career batting average. Pretty incredible. Again, these cards came back very fast. 3 of 3 success. Five days for Larry Boa. Very nice. Great signer. So we're going to feature that 74 tops. Those are great looking cards. Let me put these other two down here. Our next return is from North Texas, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Again, no hard card, but a nice little uh, pouch of cards there. Turn number two is Danny Darwin. What do we got here? Four cards? Five cards? Oh, man. Loaded it up. I didn't know I sent him five cards. But Danny Darwin, very nice. We have him here on the 87 Donruss, the 87 Tops, 84 Tops, the 1990 Score, and the 1982 Tops, which I think is my favorite. Really like that scorecard, too. But Danny Darwin won 171 games in his career with a 3.84 ERA, just under 2,000 strikeouts with 1,942. Led the NL in ERA in 1990, goes pretty well with that 1990 scorecard there. Man, these are all super clean. Love the blue ink. Love how he takes up all the space on the card. Very similar to Mike, Mark Gretzelonic we got last week. But... Play for the Texas Rangers, as you see here, for a bunch of years to start his career. Then went off to the Brewers, the Astros, the Red Sox, the Blue Jays, the Rangers again, the Pirates, the Astros, the White Sox, and the Giants. So a couple tours with those, those Astros and those Rangers. Love those Texas teams. But Danny Darwin, great return. Again, five of five. I never send five cards out to someone, but I guess I had a bunch, and I guess he signs a bunch. I saw that and I sent five off, so got a little greedy with that one, Abe. But very nice. Love this 82 tops. The blue ink really pops on that card. I think that was actually a mantle rules purchase a long time ago. Put these down here. Again, thank you, Mr. Danny Darwin. Great TTMer. So is Larry Boa. How about Phoenix, Arizona for our third return with no hard card in it? I even get my scissors in my hands. There we go. We have. Nice. Never sent to him before. Well, maybe I did when he was playing, but Joe Borowski, former closer, as you see here with the Chicago Cubs. What is this? An 05 Tops and a. Ooh, an old upper deck vintage from 2004. Very cool. Great closer. Had quite a few careers. I think he actually finished with the, um, who was it? The Cincinnati, no, Cleveland Indians. Let's 
see here. Checking out the spreadsheet, trying to scroll through, but I think he had over 130 saves in his career. Pretty lights out. Led the AL in saves in 2007, I want to say it was, with those Cleveland Indians. But also pitched, I want to say, for the Orioles, the Braves, the Cubbies, Tampa for a little bit, and even Florida. So, very hard throwing right-handed pitcher. Checking out the spreadsheet here for Mr. Joe Borowski. These cards came back in just 18 days. Very cool. Very thin little signature, too. It's really just boom right there straight line across very cool though remember having him on my uh, team in mvp baseball way back in 2004 and 2005 to all you out there that played the uh, playstation 2 back then very cool love the way this uh this 2005 tops turned out A little gold lettering there very nice i like those simple designs st louis missouri no hard card in this one either. Let's slice into it and see who it is. We have... Ooh, Pat Leahy. Very cool. This has been out a while. Got him here on his 77 tops card. 76 tops card. And then... Oh, he signed doubles. Man, I got really greedy today between Danny Darwin and sending doubles to Pat Leahy. I never do that, but 99... 1991 Upper Deck. I think this is actually his last card. I don't think any of these are his rookie cards either. It would be the 76. I don't think that's his rookie. But Pat Leahy. I think I just got saw Michael Myers get him back not that long ago. But spent the majority of his career or his entire career with the New York Jets from 1974 to 1991. After playing soccer at St. Louis University. Where he was a three-time All-American. 1970 to 1972 for soccer. NFL though, he was first team all pro in 1978. Made 304 field goals in his career. 558 extra points. All that math equates to 1,470 career NFL points. Absolutely incredible. Gonna have to scroll down the spreadsheet here to my L's. And see if these cards came back in 98 days. Pretty cool. Again, really nice. He signed uh, doubles for me. So, very cool. Very nice vintage. Love it. Put these up here. We're going to go to South Jersey, New Jersey. Continue the note. This one's super flimsy. No hard card. I think there's only one in here. Must be a good one we have it is and it's another 91 upper deck mike rozier pretty cool signature this is pretty late in his career at the atlanta falcons but was a heisman trophy winner at the university of nebraska pretty incredible then went on to the usfl played for the pittsburgh ballers and the jacksonville bulls then joined the nfl in 1985 with the houston oilers Finish things off in 1990-1991 with the Atlanta Falcons. With those Oilers, he was a two-time pro baller. Again in college, absolutely a beast. Was a two-time All-American in addition to winning that Heisman. And also won a couple other awards. The Maxwell Award and the Walter Camp Award. That, of course, led to Nebraska retiring his number 30. But in the NFL, scored 30 touchdowns, 4,462 rushing yards. Very cool. And not to switch back to the college, but he's in the College Football Hall of Fame. Very nice. He's actually signing at the National back in July. And I took this card with me just in case I got a wild card ticket or a ticket of his to get a signature. I unfortunately did not get one, so pretty cool that he signed this one through the mail. And it only took 14 days for the former Heisman Trophy winner. Very nice. Love the blue ink on that card put it down here i think we have what th two two no we got three to go all right next one is tampa florida st petersburg florida also have a hard card in this one our first one of the week love the hard card usually means there's something in there that's pretty good and we have tim mccarver that is nice that's 69 tops card mccarver's homer 
Put St. Louis ahead. Three run blast. There he is. Very nice. And then his rookie card. Oh, it leaked pretty bad though. Look at that. It went on to the other one. That's not too good. That's okay. I actually have another rookie card of his, so maybe I'll send him out. But that's a little unfortunate. Not gonna not gonna kid about that. It looks okay. But yeah, definitely rubbed off on the back of the other card. So probably put him in there when they're a little wet. But Tim McCarver. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame as a broadcaster. But let's talk about his playing career. 270 career batting average, 97 home runs, 645 RBIs. Played with the Cardinals, the Phillies, the Expos, the Red Sox. Two-time All-Star, 1966 and 1967. Also won two World Series with those St. Louis Cardinals in 1964 and 1967. He's a part of the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame. And I want to say he called... 23 different World Series and 20 All-Star games. Pretty incredible. And then was put into the uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame with the Ford Frick Award back in 2012. So pretty incredible career. Lifelong baseball guy. These cards came back and it looks like 8 days. He does have a fee. $10 per. That's the only reason this, this uh, rookie card is a little disappointing. It didn't turn out better. Just because it was sent with a fee. But probably just put them in there while it was still wet. As you can see there on the back of the card, it rubbed off. So maybe next time I'll send him. I do have a second rookie card of his. Maybe I'll just send him a, a rookie card and ten bucks, and hopefully it'll it'll dry <laughs> before it goes in the uh, the envelope. But this card turned out pretty good, so can't complain about that one. Put this one down here. I'm actually put this one on a stand. We still have two to go. We have Atlanta Metro next, and this one's pretty thick, so thick that they got folded over and they had to put a little sticker on it to get the tracking. But Atlanta Metro, I want to say I know who this is, but there's a handful of them out. Oh, hey, what are you doing hitting that camera? There are a handful of them out to uh, Atlanta Metro right now, so let's see what we got. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ron Gant. Ron Gann on the 90 Fleer. Oh, got chewed up there. But this one didn't. That's so cool. Look at that refractor from 2000 Tops. Oh, it looks so much better in person. I'm sorry it's not showing up perfect on the camera. Its signature really does pop on it. That is awesome. Austin F. I know he loves refractors. And look how lucky we got. Look how damaged that one got. And this turned out fantastic. We also have him here on an upper deck. And then this is an archives card, not a 91 tops card, but a nice archives card too. So very cool. Look at that refractor though. Man. The only downside is with the Phillies on that one. He's not known for his time with the Philadelphia Phillies. He's known for his time. With those Atlanta Braves from 1987 to 1993, absolutely incredible. He was a 30-30 guy in 1990 and 1991. I want to say there's only a handful of guys that have ever done that in Major League history, back-to-back 30-30 years. I know one was Willie Mays, and I believe the other two were Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds, his son. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, company to have there for Mr. Ron Gant. But after his time with the Braves, kind of went to a handful of teams, the Reds, the Cardinals, the Phillies. I want to say the Angels had him for a little bit, maybe in a midseason trade with the Phillies. I know he was with the Rockies and the Padres for a little bit as well, but two-time All-Star, once with the Reds, once with the Braves, won the Silver Slugger Award in 1991, had a 256 career batting average with 321 home runs, and just over a thousand runs batted in with 1,008 RBIs. So let's check out the spreadsheet. Ron Gant, where are you? You're in my G's. Eight days, four out of four. Thank you, Mr. Gant. That refractor's awesome. Kind of makes up for the Tim McCarver rookie card a little bit to me. But man, that is so clean. So clean. I ordered a bunch of refractors lately, and this is the first to come back. So, 
Forgive me if I'm just staring at that one a little bit longer. Last return, North Houston, Texas. Has a hard card. It actually is very thick, so I'm going to careful opening this one up. We have... Oh boy, even have a note. Bob Aspermonte. Very nice. Let's see what we got here. Oh, very cool. Send a little, uh, a little piece of paper. We'll stick that back there. Thank you, Mr. Bob Aspermonte. We have a 67 tops. He does a phenomenal job. I've sent to him, I think, three times now. Absolutely awesome. Blue Sharpie, 67 tops. There's a 66 tops. And then, oh, that looks cool, too. A 69 tops with the Braves. Very nice. Mr. Bob Aspermonte. He is one of the, unfortunately, few remaining Brooklyn Dodgers. Broke in with them in 1956. Brooklyn native himself. I think he was only 18 or 19 years old when he broke in with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Then followed with them to, to Los Angeles. Play with there from 1960 to 1961. Then joined up with those Houston Colt 45s in the 1961 baseball expansion, MLB expansion draft. So they, of course, became the Astros not too long after 1962 to 1968. And then finished career off with the Braves and the Mets. He is a part of the Houston Astros Hall of Fame. Had a 252 career batting average with 60 home runs. 457 RBIs. His brother, Ken Aspermonte, also is a phenomenal signer. Just, just really great guys to the TCM community. These cards came back in just 14 days. Again, thank you, Mr. Bob Aspermonte. I believe he's 84 years old now. Very, very nice. Man. Very clean. That 67 turned out great. They all did, but that one just looks great with all the background. So that's what we have. A little bit of vintage, a little bit of football, a lot more baseball, a little bit of 80s stuff, some 2000s stuff, Heisman Trophy winner, Hall of Famer, Mr. Tim McCarver, and then a beautiful refractor. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope your mailboxes again are full as well. Really do appreciate it. You all tuning in. Bye for now.